All right, I'm gonna make this one nice and quick. It's so simple to do this. So rear curtain sink, let's talk about it. For rear curtain sink, all you need to know is two different things. You need to have a slow shutter speed and you need flash. Why? Because flash freezes and a slow shutter speed is gonna create that motion that you need. So what's happening in rear curtain sync is two things. I like to look at it as rear curtain sync is capturing two different exposures in one. What do I mean by that? So the first exposure that you take, you're not physically taking two different exposures. You're, take, you're, you're pressing the shutter once and the camera is doing the rest for you. So when, once you press that shutter for the first time, that's the first exposure popping off. That's the exposure for the motion. You know, if you have somebody walking or if you have a dancer or, you know, some sort of action happening in the in the photograph or in the frame, you're going to see that motion. And then the second uh, exposure that's happening, that's when the flash is going to pop off. The flash is then going to freeze all of that motion. Well, not all of the motion It's going to freeze, freeze the last frame of the motion that you uh, that you've captured in the first exposure. And it's going to look something like this joey so i'm gonna count one two three four one two three four on that second one that's when i'm gonna press the shutter so on that second one i'm gonna have you start you know shaking your head left and right okay. one two three four one two So there you go, go out and get creative, rear curtain sink.